Oxygen for sports performance, we think, is, is a no-brainer. Uh, it's very, very good for them. Football players for decades have been using oxygen on the sidelines. Um, in the NFL, in the collegiate ranks. Um, it's basically, if you are engaged in uh, an aerobic sport with a clock, um, you need to catch your breath very fast. And uh, football players realize that if they're out of breath, uh, that they need to catch their breath very soon so they can go back in and perform at their best. One of the things, actually, that happens with um, oxygen deprivation uh, during aerobic sports is that people can go into, uh, can start breathing anaerobically, uh, which means they're breathing without oxygen, which means they're using their glucose uh, storage. Uh, and a byproduct of that is lactic acid production. And that creates cramping, that creates muscle fatigue, uh, muscle soreness. And any athlete will tell you that uh, they can't afford to have these muscle issues uh, when they're out there performing. Yeah, the U.S. Open this year, I'm a tennis player, and uh, I follow the U.S. Open and, and a lot of the tennis uh, tournaments closely. And in New York City, there are major issues with cramping. Um, and the, another a misconception, oh, it's, a, it's not a misconception, but people think that just hydrating um, alone will prevent cramps. And hydrating, yes, will help you prevent cramps, but obviously it's not the only thing. Um, that helps. Uh, all these athletes at the U.S. Open were properly hydrated, and the U.S. semifinal uh, was cut short uh, by uh, Feng Shui from China, went down with a cramp. Andy Murray, in, in the round of 16, almost didn't complete his match because of severe cramping. He was lucky to get through. Um, and we found that if they would just oxygenate during their matches, um, what they're experiencing is when it's hot, there's less oxygen in the air, just like there is in altitude. Uh, there's also a lot more pollution, and the air quality is, is a lot worse down in New York City. Um, so they're getting less oxygen in the body, they get lactic acid, and bang, they start to cramp. Um, and it's just so unnecessary. If, if they would just uh, try supplemental oxygen, uh, I think the, the cramping issue would, would go away, um, if not entirely, but then by, by a lot. With most sports, especially aerobic sports that people uh, play, uh, coaches will teach proper breathing techniques. Actually, even yoga, people teach proper breathing techniques. And, and the whole purpose of teaching proper breathing techniques is to maximize the oxygen intake into the system. Um, oxygen is generally recognized as a good thing to have when you're performing uh, any sport, really. And uh, we have uh, archery um, people that, that use the boost oxygen for their focus. Uh, we have a professional skateboarder using oxygen um, also just to admit uh, the most amount of oxygen they can uh, during the competitions. I get the question frequently uh, by high school sporting teams and college sporting teams uh, as whether they can use oxygen on the sidelines or, or during competition. And uh, the answer is unequivocally yes, they can. It is 100% legal for use. Uh, there is a world governing body by the name of the World Anti-Doping Association. Uh, and interestingly enough, they, uh, and they govern um, all blood, blood doping, all uh, illegal products uh, that are considered to be um, uh, uh, unwarranted by professional sports teams. And uh, supplemental oxygen used to be actually a banned substance uh, by the World Anti-Doping Association, but they removed that from their list uh, back in 2006. So any sport uh, can use uh, supplemental oxygen uh, except for what we found boxing. The American Boxing Association um, lists uh, uh, supplemental oxygen as something that you cannot use during a match, and I never got an answer from them as to why not. I can only guess that they would think if one person was using it, it would give them an unfair advantage over the other person, so they, they decided to uh, uh, ban its use um, because oxygen is considered to be um, a performance enhancer, uh, but it's a very legal one.